You're listening to the Adventurous Reinvention Podcast. I'm Allison Boyle, aka She Dreams of Alpine, and this is the show that's dedicated to all the adventurous spirits out there who have either been transformed by the outdoors or are interested in what it looks like to step into a new, adventurous, and courageous kind of identity in their life. It doesn't matter what your background is in the outdoors, what age you're starting at, or where you grew up. If you're curious about the outdoors and using adventure as a way to reinvent yourself, you're in the right place. I'll be sharing all kinds of personal adventure stories, lessons I've learned from the mountains, teaching what I know about the outdoors and leadership, and interviewing some amazing adventurous women all along the way. I've been coaching women on becoming safe, confident, and self-sufficient backpackers and leaders of their own adventurous lives since 2018, and I know exactly what big fears and self-doubts can pop up along the way. I have so much to share with you, so let's dive in. Okay, everyone, welcome back to episode four of the Adventurous Reinvention podcast. I'm so glad that you're here, and I wanted to dedicate a quick episode to how you can work with me and my team at She Dreams of Alpine on your adventure goals so that this can just live here on the podcast and you're able to come and find it and understand a little bit better what we do and all of the things. Because Even though it's very popular to be on Instagram and be an outdoor content creator or an influencer, that is not at all what we do at She Dreams of Alpine. In fact, I rarely, personally, if ever, work with outdoor brands unless it's a product that we really, really love at She Dreams of Alpine. Um, Me and my team, if we've tried it out and we really love it, or, and or, they're, they are also interested in helping us hook up our clients. So we really are very strategic in the brands that we work with and recommend to our clients. We want to make sure that we love them before we recommend them and that it's benefiting everyone. So we don't do a lot of collaborations on just content. At She Dreams of Alpine, we are an outdoor education company with a really strong focus on empowering you to be the leader of your own outdoor adventures instead of being reliant on others for your safety. And underneath all of that, we teach that adventure and the outdoors is a tool for reinventing yourself and doing things that you never thought were possible for your life as a tool for growth and blowing your own mind. It's a stepping stone to living courageously and in yourself in all areas of your life. And we want to help our clients get more freedom, more confidence, and feel more courageous in their life. And to essentially live life on their own terms and feel more aliveness in their lives and be the captains of their own ship. So as my business has evolved from being a blog to running a course and to now offering retreats in various other types of coaching programs, I wanted to do just a quick I wanted to like have a quick place, and that's this podcast episode, that I could make it super clear what exactly we do here at She Dreams of Alpine and how you can work with me and my small team. So first things first, if you want to learn from me and my team for free, we offer so many ways that you can do that and you can learn from us. There is the She Dreams of Alpine blog. That's at shedreamsofalpine.com. You can find all sorts of blog posts on hiking and backpacking tips, um, educational content, trail guides, all of the things. We have so much content. We always keep it updated and we're always adding new content to that blog. So that's one place you can always check for resources and see if we teach something you're interested in learning about there. We also create a ton of educational and inspirational content on my social media accounts. That's at She Dreams of Alpine, particularly Instagram. That's kind of the place I hang out the most um, on a weekly basis. We always have stuff coming out. We're always teaching there and we're always showing up there. We also have done many series. Like if you go to our page and you look back, we've done many series on there that kind of go over different concepts about backpacking, about hiking, all of the things. So you can learn a lot just by going to our blog and our Instagram page. And also throughout the year, we offer special free workshops and events and challenges and even online summits. We do this annual online summit that is focused all about going on solo adventures where you can learn from us. And sometimes we even bring other experts in the outdoors to those events. So. That's usually all focused around hiking and backpacking 
and living a more adventurous life. Now, the best way to stay in the know for any of those free events is to be on our newsletter. You can join our newsletter in a variety of different ways, but if you're looking to get a free gift in the process, you can grab our Outdoor Backpacker Starter Kit and join our email list by going to shedreamsofalpine.com slash kit. Now, if you want to dig deeper and get more focused on your goals, work with a coach and get direct feedback and be connected to an amazing group of women, a community of women, then we also have paid programs that we offer and we also offer some in-person retreats. So mostly what I do is teach virtually. This allows me to work with a lot of women and coach more women and just have more capacity to help others, right? And one of the reasons I really love virtual programs like our signature course, the Backpacking Badass program, is that you can go at your own pace. Even when life happens, we have clients all the time who will join our programs and then sometimes something unexpected happens for them and they have to put a pause on working through that course and then come back to it at a later time. That's really important to me that you have access to that. And then also that you can revisit the material again and again and again as needed. One thing that I've always kind of disliked about in-person experiences, um, especially if I was looking, if I was like needing a skill and I was wanting to learn a skill a little bit better, was that one, those experiences, those in-person experiences are not often focused on being teaching experiences. They're usually focused on just giving you an experience, right? And two is sometimes I would go have these experiences and maybe I would learn a little bit, but then I would often forget how to do those things when I got back. So when it comes to backpacking, the thing with many in-person experiences, they, is they don't teach you also the front end part of backpacking, which is so important. They don't teach you how to properly prepare, create a trip plan, create a safety plan, understanding what goes into that properly and preparing for your trip before you even go on it. And for me, one of the biggest things that the biggest reasons people don't go backpacking that I see, in my opinion, is because they lack this skill. And it's such an important skill, knowing how to create a trip plan for any adventure that you want to go on, such a key skill skill in your backpacking journey, your outdoorsy journey, your adventurous journey. And creating a safety plan sets you up for all kinds of success in the backcountry. You can pivot easier when things don't go according to plan, which often happens in the backcountry. If you are outdoorsy, you know, sometimes the best laid plans end up having to be changed because of unforeseen circumstances, right? But what's great is if you have thought about it a lot, you understand some of your options, you understand how to pivot, then you are have already thought through your backup plan when you go out there. And then you have already put the pieces in place for your safety if something does happen and you need to like react fast. So these are such important skills. They happen before you even hit the trail. So that is why we created our first program. This program is essential backpacking education for women who want to be self-reliant on the trail and they want to stop waiting around on others for the adventure invite. We teach you to go from what I like to call being a passive participant in your outdoor adventures, which when I say passive participant, I mean like somebody who probably just got invited along and doesn't really know what she's doing, or you got invited along and if you got separated from your group somehow, you would be freaking out. You'd be like, I don't know, I can't get separated from my group. I don't know how to like stay safe, get myself out of the situation. That's kind of when you're in that passive participant situation. So we teach you how to go from passive participant to being like a backpacking badass, somebody who's active. We teach you how to be self-sufficient and confident so that you would be able to one, be a strong group contributor to any trip that you're invited on, But two, most importantly, you have your own back when it comes to safety when you're hitting the trail in any scenario. And for many women in our programs, when they feel this kind of confidence, like the active participant in their adventures, that's when they feel confident enough to also start exploring and dabbling in solo adventures, which which so many of our clients are really interested in doing. So the Backpacking Badass program, 
This is our primary program at She Dreams of Alpine, and it is one of the best ways to work with us, especially if you're just starting out. Like even if you're a day hiker, you are gonna use all the core skills that we teach in that program in your day hiking. This is basically a foundational skills program that will like teach you everything you need to go, need to know even as you grow and go on bigger and bigger adventures and gives you that confidence to do bigger adventures, whatever they might be down the line, whether you're looking to get into rock climbing or canyoneering or mountaineering, this is foundational to all of those pieces. And that's why we like to start with backpacking. So in our core course, curriculum, you learn everything that you need to know to be safe and self-sufficient as a backpacker. So you're going to learn how to pick the right backpacking trail for your skill level. You're going to learn how to train properly for the backpacking trip that you have planned. You're going to learn all about gear and essential safety gear systems that you must have because there's always a difference. Like you have gear that is a nice to have and then you have gear that is essential. We teach you like what is important, what's not what you don't need to worry about and you need and you learn how to use that gear properly. You're also going to learn what your most important backpacking skill sets to keep you safe in the outdoors are, including things like outdoor navigation and map and compass and using a GPS, all of those things. It's my mission that people who go through my program when they hit the trail, they don't worry about getting lost. That was a really big thing for me when I started, and I want every woman when they go out there, that is something that is far from their concerns when they're hitting the trail. You also learn how to create a proper trip plan and a safety plan. This is that skill that I was talking about earlier that is really gonna set the stage for you having a really successful trip and being able to make safety calls on the fly. You're also gonna learn about the skill of pivoting and making those safety calls before and during your trips. And you're gonna learn how to cultivate that I'm safe and I've got this leadership mindset so that you can stop waiting around for other people to invite you along on adventures. So that's just kind of like a taste of what we teach you in the core curriculum of the Backpacking Badass program. And in addition to the course curriculum, you instantly become part of a community of, at least at this moment, over 1,700 women backpackers who are cheering you along, cheering you along the way as you're growing and learning all this information. They're in all walks and stages of life. So as you grow too, you're also gonna be able to get feedback from other coaches, get support, share your wins, share your struggles and challenges. This is such a great place and a safe space to get all of that feedback, right? You'll also get access to three monthly coaching calls, support calls. So we usually do about two Q&A calls these are usually focused on the curriculum. What are you stuck with? What do you need help with? And also I usually do kind of a more intimate, like mindset, life coaching focus call once a month as well. And I'm not also the only person that teaches and coaches in the program. I also have my team who has their own background of experiences in backpacking as well. And they host coaching calls too. So you get a variety of expert backpacking coaches to give you feedback on your journey. And essentially that means like you get to talk to real humans and real women and real expert coaches in real time about your questions leading up to any of your trips and as you prepare for trips. So in addition to all of that, you also get lifetime access to the program material, the coaching, and any updates that we make to the curriculum over time. So we literally support you for life as you grow as a backpacker and an outdoorsy woman inside of that program. We, we just wanted to make this a program where we go all out for you, like to support you, to make sure that you're as successful as possible and you feel as supported as possible. Because sometimes a lot of the people who join our program, they do not have access to the mentorship and the community of people that are doing this kind of thing. They don't have family members that are interested in this. They don't have friends that are interested in this. Or maybe they do, but their friends aren't willing to kind of step up and be in that leadership role. Or maybe they are looking to be more adventurous and courageous in their own identity, and they need that support and that community. Community is such an important part of like making these big identity shifts in your life. So. We do all of, all of that, lifetime access, 
Um, we even celebrate you by sending you a free gift once you've graduated the program, which really is just have you finished the core curriculum inside our program and then have you gone on your first backpacking trip since starting the program. Now, some people have maybe gone on a backpacking trip with others, but they're wanting to really learn how to do this themselves and take more ownership and be more safe when they go with others. So it's whenever you've gone on your first trip after completing the program, we send you a little gift. It's our graduation gift to celebrate you. And if you do that, we send you like the, a free hat. It's a backpacking badass hat that you can only get through this process. You can't buy it. There's nowhere on our website that you can buy it. We send it to you for free to celebrate you for making momentum and taking action on this goal. So that's just like a little side perk that we do because I find that once you get that first trip under your belt, because the first trip is probably like the most nerve wracking trip that you'll go on, especially because you're in your head about all the things, especially if you're brand new and you've never done it before, you've never used the gear before. It's the most anxiety producing trip, right? So if you can get that one under your belt, then you are even more likely to do more and more and more and more. So again, at this point, this program has served over 1700 women. This program works. We have hundreds of student testimonials and success stories. And if you're interested in seeing some of those, you can go to shedreamsofalpine.com slash stories. Um, and it will have a bunch of little testimonials you can watch. It's a bunch of videos and different people's experiences and backgrounds that you can check out and kind of see what their experience inside of our program was. So yeah, that is our core program. The thing, the main thing that we do here at She Dreams of Alpine, and it's the Backpacking Badass program. It's the best place to start if you're just getting into all of these things. Sometimes we have clients that have been maybe backpacking or have backpacked in the past, but they just really want to step into more of that leadership role in their adventures, this is where you should start. So the best place to go right now, if you are interested in that program, is to join our waitlist at shedreamsofalpine.com slash waitlist. And that will just put you in our system to tag you to make sure we let you know about any of our open enrollments that are happening for that program um, because we open it up periodically. So I will link all of these little things that I've been calling out, um, waitlist pages in the show notes too. So you can find them um, really quickly and access them as well. And you don't have to remember those URLs, uh, but you can also find them on my website and Instagram pages too. So real quick, before I move on about the other things that we do at She Dreams of Alpine, one question that we do get a lot is if we only work with women in this program. And at She Dreams of Alpine, we believe in equitable, equitable outdoor education for all people. And while we do keep many of our programs and retreats focused on women and underrepresented genders to create a safe community for those groups and so that they feel like open and they can ask the questions they need to ask and feel like it's a safe space, we do have a kind of self-study version of our Backpacking Badass course that men can join that doesn't include our private community access. So it's not something that we advertise a whole lot of, but we do welcome men and men into our Backpacking Badass course, one, because it's an effective program no matter how you identify. And two, we believe men learning from women can create a really powerful shift in safe hiking communities around the world. So I just wanted to mention that. We do get asked about it all the time. If you have questions about it, you can always email me and my team at support at shedreamsofalpine.com. Okay, so that was the Backpacking Badass program. Our next sort of tier in the program that we offer at She Dreams of Alpine is our other program called the Adventurous Reinvention Experience. So a couple of years ago, I got certified as a life coach because for me, life coaching has been a really important part of my journey. Um, it had working with other coaches, learning about life coaching tools had a profound impact on my life, especially as I started my business. Um, so it taught me so many tools for emotional regulation, going after big goals, all of the things. So I wanted to create the reason why I created the Adventurous Reinvention Experience is I want to create a program that took 
things deeper with my clients and was a little bit more personal and intimate and in a small group setting and incorporate a lot of those tools that I've learned as a life coach. So in 2023, we created the Adventurous Reinvention Experience. So this program is kind of both an adventure of your life and pursuing and learning to pursue exactly what you want, what you want to create, right? A reinvention of yourself. And it's also this adventure of your physical body. So imagine kind of combining your love for personal self-growth, self-development with your love and desire of outdoor adventure. So we do both in that program in a small group container of women over the course of about four months during the summer, typically, um, together. So there are two component components of this experience. We have our summer program that we do together each week, the reinvention classes. So there are four months of weekly classes and coaching through a process of reinventing yourself and stepping into new possibilities, whatever that is for you. We help you explore that, right? And then we have these in-person experiences. So these are the adventures. So there are usually tiers to choose from. We typically, so it may change over the years. So I don't wanna say it's always this way, but we typically have a beginner group. So you're like more new to backpacking or you wanna be at a beginner physical fitness level or an intermediate group based on just whatever skill level you're at, what you wanna accomplish. And if you are ever considered joining this program and you're not sure which tier you should do, you just reach out and we can have a conversation about it. And we currently run these in the Eastern Sierra Nevada mountains because for me, that's such a great place to build your skills as a backpacker and get big mountain, high altitude and rugged trail conditions experience. So we love to host it there. Also, I hold a special place in my heart for the Eastern Sierra Nevadas. It's like where I kind of cut my teeth as a backpacker, mountaineer, all the things, and climber is in those mountains. So I'd love to share that place with my clients. So basically what we do is we meet weekly together all summer to begin this sort of adventure into self. Each call with me is live. It usually begins with me teaching you the steps for stepping into your own personal adventurous reinvention. And then we spend the remaining time for coaching. And we also throughout the summer work on honing your skill sets and preparing you for the outdoor adventure as well. And um, at the beginning of that program, if you're like, I don't really know how I want to reinvent myself or I don't know what I want to focus on, we definitely spend time at the beginning of that program exploring what that could be for you. Many of the women who join this particular experience or this program often are in a crossroads or in a big transition in their life and they're wanting to kind of explore what's next for them. Or maybe they've had something on their heart that they've always wanted to bring to life. And if you went back and listened to my adventurous reinvention stories, you can just kind of see like, we are just trying to help you facilitate your own adventurous reinvention. Um, and then at the end of our experience, we get to meet in person and spend multiple days backpacking in the wilderness together. So our in-person adventure is essentially this physical representation of all the work that you've been doing on yourself months prior and a way to give like physical momentum to the change that you're calling forth in your life. And what's really special about this experience and the way we have it set up is all summer you've been getting to know your group, getting to know like each other's passions and what you're working on. And it's a really intimate experience. So it's small group. And then we get to meet in person. It's almost like, you know, these people already before you've even hit the trail with each other. And that really fosters this experience where like you get to create these really meaningful connections. And many of our clients after their in-person adventures really go on to make these connections for a lifetime and friendships for a lifetime from these experience. So, this is a program for those who are ready to reinvent what's possible for their lives. If you feel like you're meant for more, you're meant to be more, to experience more, to do more, and to live more of this beautiful and wild existence that we call life, then you should definitely consider joining this program. Um, it's one of my favorite things that we do all year at She Dreams of Alpine. It's very special, very different than everything else that we do. And there are essentially two big core things that you would walk away from at the end of our time together. There's kind of like this 
personal ROI, like your personal return on investment, and there's like your adventure ROI. Um, so personally, you develop a clear idea of like what's next for you and what you'd love to create in your life and having a more clear path to get there. You'll also be working on creating an exciting vision for your future that really lights you up and gets you excited to go for it, right? You're gonna learn tools that will help you navigate your self-doubts, your fears with much more calm confidence instead of feeling like you're an imposter or like you shouldn't be doing this. You're gonna learn how to transform your relationship with discomfort, both on and off the trail. Like this, this is a summer of like embracing discomfort because with big changes, with reinvention, with pushing ourselves in the outdoors and personally, there's a lot of discomfort on the way and we teach you how to navigate that, right? And you are prioritizing you, your joy all summer long. That's one thing I love about this program. It's really focused on you bringing it back to yourself. What lights you up? What do you want to work on? All of the things. And then it helps you stop holding yourself back from going after you what, what you want in life. And so that's why we call it the adventurous reinvention experience. And on the adventure side, your return on investment in this program is basically you are going to have even more confidence to go out there more on your own, right? You will have the confidence to take your friends out and introduce them to hiking and backpacking. A lot of people, when they join this experience, if they're in the more intermediate like kind of stage of their backpacking journey, they just want more confidence in being the leader. So we are going to help you discover your inner leader. You're going to get to all summer long. We work and we train together. You train together, but separately, but we help you create training plans. So you're going to get to celebrate your body feeling strong and prepared. What does that look like? How do we prepare for a big adventure in the Sierra Nevada mountains? We, a lot of times have clients come from all over the U S and some have never even backpacked in mountains as big as the Eastern Sierra. So we teach you all the things you need to know to prepare for that so that you have that experience under your belt and you could do something like that again. You get to connect with life like-minded women and make some lifelong friendships and you will get to feel more confident in all of those core outdoor, outdoor skill sets like on trail navigation and safety, learning how to make pivots in the backcountry. Cause often these trips, one year we had a trip where there was this freak hurricane that um, hit California and impacted like our experience in the mountains. And that the group of clients that was with us when we were out in the mountains, when that happened, we didn't know this was gonna impact the mountains as much as it did when we entered. It was just supposed to be some, a little extra rain and then it transformed when we were out there. Those clients got such a unique experience because we got to show them how do you make safety call decisions how do we stay calm in situations that, you know, have a little bit more pressure, have a little bit more consequence, depending on what we decide? How do we make group decisions on this and keep everyone safe? So they got to really experience kind of the behind the scenes of all of that. And that is such a valuable experience to have under their belt um, for future experiences. So, yeah, you get to learn how to hike safely in the mountains, adapt to all of its challenges, and you get to have gone on an epic adventure at the end of this experience. So growth is inevitable inside the adventurous reinvention experience. And the woman that you are before you join will be different than the woman you are by the end of the experience in the best kind of way. You're going to have more confidence, more strength, more courage, more knowledge, more clarity, more joy, and more self-agency. And... It's just like an amazing experience. If that's something that's calling to you, um, definitely consider joining us. So we currently only open this program, the Adventurous Reinvention Experience, once a year. That could change down the line, but right now we only open it once a year. Usually we open enrollment for this around March or April of every year. This is dependent on when we have permits finalized. So a lot of, like our in-person retreat we have to like finalize all those details, make sure we have the permits properly for all of this. Um, so once we do have that properly, we open up enrollment around the late March or early April. And if you're interested in staying in the know for this experience, be sure to join the waitlist at shedreamsofalpine.com slash A-R-E. That's apple, rabbit, eggplant, A-R-E. Again, I'll link to it below. But this program always sells out because it is a really limited experience. 
Um, in the past, we've only enrolled 24 people in each cohort. Um, and that's like two groups of 12. So like the beginner group has 12 people. The intermediate group has 12 people. You get to meet everybody when you're in the coaching part, in the weekly coaching during the summer. But the in-person experiences are split up. So I don't know if we'll do more than that. Um, but we have the past couple of years done only 24 people. So being on the wait list for that, that's at shedreamsofalpine.com slash ARE. This ensures you that you get to hear about it first before we open spots to the public. So how it usually works is we always give first dibs on any in-person things or retreats or experiences to our existing clients. So if you've been on a past retreat of ours or you have been in the Backpacking Badass program, you always get first dibs before anybody else to join one of these experiences. This is a perk of being one of our clients. We just wanna make sure that if you wanted to attend something, you don't have to stress about something selling out, you can join first. But second is our wait list. So if you aren't a past client of ours and you are interested in this experience, then being on that wait list ensures that you are the next person to hear about it. And then we open it to the public if there are any spots remaining. So again, I will link everything below in the show notes so that you can kind of find all of these resources and join the wait list that you wanna be on. So last but not least, we also host some climbing retreats at She Dreams of Alpine. So for me, rock climbing holds a really special place in my heart. I have been personally climbing for almost just as long as I've been hiking and backpacking. And it's still a really core part of my life today. It's one of the things I get most excited about. I love setting goals about around climbing. I love bouldering. I love sport climbing. Um, I'm not as much into trad climbing these days, but I do like Alpine. So it's like a little mix of all the things that I love. So we recognize that many of our clients, as they start hiking and backpacking more, that they might become more and more curious about like, what else? What else can I do that I maybe never thought I could do before? And rock climbing tends to be one of those pieces that everyone's really curious about. And getting into rock climbing can be a really tough transition for folks because it definitely takes a lot more knowledge. It takes a lot more safety knowledge to get started with, especially if you don't feel like you're connected to a community that can help you learn these things. Um, and especially if you're wanting to climb outdoors, there's, it's a little bit harder to kind of like get into your, by yourself, um, unless you, you do really have a connected community you can lean on. So we occasionally offer rock climbing treats for those reasons. We, at the moment, have only offered about one to two of those a year. So it is really limited at the moment. That's sort of because Currently, I've been enjoying attending those retreats with my clients, and I can only travel so much during the year, especially with our Adventurous Reinvention experience. Um, but they are so, so fun. And we usually always do a trip to Joshua Tree, which is a really like fun rock climbing and yoga retreat weekend. It's in the desert. It's just a really fun place, fun environment to be at and to learn how to climb. And it's a great place for any of y'all that are seeing yourselves as beginners and really just even if you had no experience and you wanted to learn all the things about climbing, we've set that retreat up to really be catering to you. And then if you are a more intermediate advanced climber, we do also like set it up to where you're getting the climbs that you want to get on as well. So our retreats are for climbers of all levels. Um, and we do sometimes mix it up before, like this year in particular. I don't know if I'll do this again, but this year we wanted to do a climbing retreat in Spain. So I am taking a really small group of women, like eight women to Spain, which is going to be epic and it's going to be so fun. But yeah, we do climbing retreats. We're still figuring out like how many of those we'll do a year. But if you want to take a She Dreams of Alpine um, climbing retreat, and stay in the loop on when those spaces open up, you can go to shedreamsofalpine.com slash climb. Again, I'll link in the show notes, but I try to make these short links so if you're just typing something in, it's really easy for you. Okay, so that is a high level look at all of the programs that we run and manage currently at She Dreams of Alpine. Of course, that could change with time and as we evolve as a company, um, but if you're on my email list 
Um, on my newsletter, you'll be able to stay in the know with any and all future developments that we have down the line. We are always considering new ways to serve you, and that includes new products and services development. But I, I kind of live by this motto, go slow to go fast. So at She Dreams of Alpine in my company, we never rush anything just to like have it. We want to make sure that our programs are really, really good before we move on to creating new ones. And it's the same with our retreats. We like to nail down our processes, make it really smooth so that your experience is just like top notch, right? So I hope that this episode was helpful in getting a look at what we do here at She Dreams of Alpine. I get asked this all the time. I wanted a place that I could kind of direct people to so that they could better understand, like, what do we do here at She Dreams of Alpine? How can we help you? Um, if you're interested in becoming more adventurous in your life or growing your confidence in the outdoors, I do hope that I get to meet you inside of one of our programs sometimes. My team and I would love, love, love to work with you. If you ever have any questions about our programs, you can always send me a DM on Instagram. That's at She Dreams of Alpine. Or you can also shoot us an email at support at She Dreams of Alpine.com. We're happy to answer any of the questions that you might have. And yeah, that's it. That's all for this episode. And thank you so much for tuning in. Until next time. Bye. Hey, I wanted to thank you real quick for tuning into the show and listening all the way to the end. If you love this episode and you want deeper support in becoming a safe, confident, and self-sufficient hiker and backpacker, then head over to shedreamsofalpine.com slash waitlist to learn more about our Backpacking Badass coaching program, where I teach you absolutely everything you need to know to be self-reliant on the trails and stop waiting around on others for the adventure invite. So I'd love to help you more in your journey of stepping into your adventurous identity and that program is the absolute best place for us to start working together so again that's shedreamsofalpine.com slash waitlist and you can learn all about it there so that's it for today folks i hope you get to spend some time outside this week and i'll be back very soon with a brand new episode bye